what's happening, man? Donny Jones. What's going on, man? What's going on? Peter Jones, man. How are you feeling today? Yeah, man. Good. It's about time. It's about time we had a chat. It is based on character and ability. So if you have character and ability, you can play for SC Dons, 1000%. If you have you lack character, you have no character, but you have a lot of ability, then you can still play for SC Dons because you've got the ability, you're good enough to play. If you're not a very good player, but you have a big character and you have, you know, a presence in a dressing room, there's a big chance that you can play for SC Dons. But if you have neither, then you can't play for the Dons, man. You must have character and ability. I'm, I'm, I'm self-motivated, to be honest. I'm, I'm, motivated by myself, my faith, I pray. My friends are very motivational people. They're go-getters, they work hard, and that inspires me, so it motivates me. And um, ambition, I'm an ambitious person. The, the thought of, I've, I've not achieved what I want to achieve yet, and I'm not where I want to be yet. So that motivates me to keep working towards it. So there will be new music coming soon. Um, it's, it's, it's been a while because I had to experience life and I had a lot of things going on in my, in my life. So I haven't been able to pay music the attention that I should be paying it. But yes, there's music coming hopefully sooner than later. Good question really. I, I don't think that I took control of my career. I left my career in the hands of other people who tried their best. They tried to do their best for me and it didn't really work but I was young and I allowed them to control my vision. And I think my, me being young and naive made me make some wrong decisions, maybe missed out on some opportunities. So my music career didn't really hit the heights that it possibly should have because when I came up doing music, I was making music of all the people that you're seeing in the TV screens now, but I'm not. <laughs> so um, I think maybe bad decisions, poor timing, um, and I'll put it down to that. I love music, it's a passion. I pay to go studio and create music, even if I don't make money from it. Um, it's a way for me to express myself. It's a therapy for me. I don't play PlayStation. I don't watch TV. So when I have a spare moment to myself, I usually write music or poetry. So I've always enjoyed writing. I think music for me is a therapy. And um, obviously I enjoy it. I enjoy putting out music and I enjoy the response. And you know, I think that's what it is, man. The music is, is a documentation of self. In my lifestyle, I've, I've made mistakes and I've lived, lived a certain way, which made me the man I am today. I never glorify it, but I don't change it because I am who I am and I've made the mistakes that I've made and I've learned from the mistakes I've made and I've come out the other end of it as a, as a good man and a good person. It's music. If I can't be honest in music, then how can I be honest? It's, it's a diary, it's my vocal diary. I have to give you all of me, so I give you my life when I make music, otherwise then I'm not an artist, I'm fake. We call this club a family club because I like to give the boys at the club a sense of family. And I think if you ask most of the boys that play for SC Dons, whether we have our disagreements or not, as we all do, we're all grown men, we don't always share the same ideas, but I'd like to believe that they have a sense of family when they join SC Dons. We make them feel welcome. All the boys know where I live, they've all been in my house. They met my mum, they met my dad. So I'm trying my best to give them a, a feeling of family. I grew up with a family feeling, so I'm trying to share it with other people. Family means everything to me. SC Dons is making a lot of noise. We make a lot of noise on the sideline, we're making a lot of noise in the, in the YouTube world. And they're looking for anything to bring us down. So the easiest thing to do is say, look at these bunch of thugs from South East London. They've all got criminal records. Some of them been to jail. Uh, they're aggressive, they're, they're disrespectful on the sideline. So what? So what, man? We believe in what we do. We aggressively chase success. I believe in SC Dons and we're teaching people to believe in themselves. I tell my players every single game, we're meant to be here. You've earned the name on the back of your shirts. Go out and get it. Go out and chase it. And don't explain yourself to no one. 
when we when we play football for 90 minutes the other team is our enemy we're trying to take everything from them because they're trying to take everything from us so i don't want to shake your hand we're at war we're going to battle and once the battle is finished i'll shake your hand so if they're going to label us as aggressive and disrespectful then label us but don't forget to label us and tell us what we do for our communities and all the good work that we do for our communities don't forget that don't forget all the children we're teaching and the children that we're raising and all the stuff that we do within our communities. Don't forget to tell them that as well. I know that I need to involve that in my game. I know that I need to be scoring more goals. Um, I, you know, I play defensive midfield and I'm still learning the role of defensive midfield. That's, that's the thing people need to understand, man. I didn't play football for years. So um, I'm still learning that role. And sometimes I feel like if I get too far up, I'm not going to get back in time. So I end up not going up there to score goals, but that's, I definitely need to score more goals for the Dons, man, and I hope to improve that in my game. My dad's my biggest fan. He supports everything that I do. He always has, so I might say my dad. I keep hearing this. I keep hearing people making excuses and saying, ah, oh, this team's full of semi-pros or this team got boys that play on Saturdays. Yes, we do. We grew up as friends, we're all friends. Should I discriminate against my friends and tell them that you can't play on a Sunday morning just because you're good at football and you play on a Saturday? Why should I do that? It's a Sunday league football, it's grassroots football and we represent the real. This is, this is our game, we're taking our game back. So for people to actually who play Sunday league football start throwing out there that you shouldn't be allowed to play if you're semi-pro or you're on a Saturday is absolute nonsense to me. You're discriminating against the game itself there is divisions, there's levels. In the league that we play in, in South London, the top division, the senior division, is full of semi-pros. We haven't once complained. I would never complain, so it's not fair he plays on Saturdays. Get better, train and get better, or stay in your lane. So the people that are better play in the top league, and then the teams that don't, that don't really take it serious play in the lower divisions, it's simple. Stop complaining about other people, man. Boys that play Saturday league football, come and play on a Sunday to come away from the politics of what happens on a Saturday. It's politics in the game, man. Sunday you can't play with your mates, there is no politics. You're flipping looking like Lionel Messi when you're playing with us. So, of course they should be allowed. You got, you got your Zach Hansers, Jackson Mutis, Ryan Palmer, um, Dobbs, King, I could go on all day. But instead of me trying to pick an outfield player, because they're all very gifted, I'm going to go for Big G. And I'm not just saying that because he's my friend. I really believe that he's one of the most important people we have at the Dons. We all saw what happened when we had Mickey Blue as in goal. Um, <laughs> he would turn the game from, we'd be winning 2-0 with 10 minutes to go and we lose 3-2. So with someone like Big G in goal, he, he protects us, man. So I'm going to give it to Big G. So many Don's memories. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, I'm probably going to have to give it to the cup final because we brought 700 supporters out. Um, it hasn't been done before. And I lifted the trophy with my dad and my brothers. And I got the, the plaque in, in, picture up in my room. Um, that was a serious memory, man. So uh, lifting the trophy, winning the cup final. My whole arm, my whole arm is tattooed. It's all religious uh, quotes from the Bible. This one says family. This one says hate breeds war, love conquers all. Um, and these are all quotes from the Bible, different quotes. Uh, my chest, succeed and struggle, because you can't succeed without any struggle. Um, that's basically it, they're all religious tattoos, to be honest. Jennifer Lopez, Christina Milian. I love all women though. I love all women. Women are beautiful, man. Women from all races are beautiful. White girls, black girls, mixed race, whatever. But you know, if you can speak Spanish or Portuguese or you're Brazilian or something Latinas like that, you, they, they come to the front of the queue. It's a difficult one really to answer because I do so much. I run a sports company called Kick Up Sports with 
Big G and Ryan Palmer. Me and Big G are in the school Monday to Friday, coaching PE, breakfast clubs, after school clubs, and all that stuff. We we have Saturday soccer schools as well, so the coaching is a lot takes up a lot of time. Obviously, run the whole of SC Dons. Me and Chris are spending five days a week, or seven days really, but we link up five days a week to edit, commentate, shoot new ideas, etc. So SC Dons and kick up sports, and obviously I do my music on the side and other little projects that I got my hands in on the side. You could say that I, I work for myself, but um, I worked very hard to get to this position. I've, I know what it feels like to work for someone else and not enjoy my job and work for pennies. I've been there, done that, and, and, it, and I learned from it. So I'm still working to where I want to be at the moment. So I'm still very not where I want to be. But yeah, technically, yeah, I, just, I do my own thing. The Dons goes worldwide, it goes global. It will be one of the biggest YouTube channels from sport, millions of subscribers, beautiful ladies wearing SC Don shirts, with Don number four on the back. I believe in this project, man. I put my life on it and I give my life to it. And I'm trying my best to give you the best content. Within the next five years, the SC Dons is going to be something very special. Losing my mum. Is the biggest thing I've ever I've ever gone through. I, I'm I'm not over it yet. I don't know if you ever do get over it. It changed me. Um, by maybe it made me a, made me a bit a bit more ruthless. A bit more ruthless maybe at times. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it made me understand to start protecting what's my own and um, to take t to be not take for granted people that we love, like my family members. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a real pain. And it, I, it, I'd like to think I've, I was a man anyway, but it's, it's made me uh, something different, built of something a bit different. You know, I lived with my mum and she, she was, I had a very good relationship with her. So losing her is losing a part of my life. to try and remain thankful for the times that you had with your parent. Like that's, that's when I, I, I could sit here now and think about my mum and I end up in tears, yeah, you know what I mean? So what I try to do is advise people to try and think about the good times that you had with them and cherish those memories and like hold on <laughs> and hold on to them because it's, <laughs> It's, it's serious, man. Allow yourself to grieve. Make sure you allow yourself to grieve. That's my advice. Like, allow yourself to grieve. Go through the pain. Cry. Tell a friend. Tell your mates that you, you can't. your head ain't right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, don't try and be a, a superhero. This is real stuff. You've lost someone that's extremely important to you. Go through the grieving process. Try and cherish the good moments. And hopefully you can move forward with your life. And try to do your best by them. You know? I want to be remembered as a good man with good morals, who works hard and gave my best and you know didn't take life too seriously but you know tried to motivate his people. My faith, so I believe in God, I believe that God's got me uh, no matter what. So when I'm feeling down I have family I can reach out to, I have friends who can motivate me, but overall it's my faith. I know that I can pray and I can tell God that I'm feeling I need help, I need motivation and, and it comes, it works for me. So Big G, number one, huge signing, big goalkeeper, commanding keeper which we needed and we lacked for years. Number two, it's a funny one, is Ryan Palmer, because Ryan Palmer what I couldn't play and we re-signed it. That, that gave us the confidence and the belief that we're going to win this league. Number three, Zach Ansar. Changed the game completely, completely. We was relying on Ryan Palmer to score all our goals and Nathan Palmer. But Ryan Palmer especially got the whole weight of winning us games. When we brought Zach Ansar in, our goal scoring problems was over and done with. The attitude that he brought to the game, he's humble, 
he works hard and he's a good man like he's, he's got a clean heart and he came in and it it made us realize you know what we're going in the right direction and he bought into the club big boy like Zakansa who's played at crazy levels is turning up here paying subs to play for SC Dons. When you see that people like that in the changing room and you look around the changing room and say nah man this is something special and the quality that he brought was different so when Ansa came in the quality of the Dons levels rose so they're three major signings man. I met Mitchell in nursery school went to the same nursery as Mitchell so I know Mitchell from like two years old met Big G when Big G was about six years old. And after that was Drops. I met Drops when I was about eight. Ryan Palmer, my sister's husband. So I met him when I was 16. Them four I've known for the most. Salvin is Big G's little cousin. I can't forget Chris. Chris, obviously, me and Chris met each other in Deptford through Power, our friend Power. So I met Chris in Deptford. He wanted to clash me. Came up to me, <laughs> came up to me, started spitting. <laughs> trying to clash me bro, I was thinking this guy is a nutcase and everyone else I've met along the way, there's a story behind everyone but we'll be here all day, there's like 26 players that play for the Dons like Mad B, I've done music with Mad B Ansa, dad lives on the bottom of my road I think Jazz, <laughs> I met Jazz through my mate Jay we're all from South East London and we all met each other through whatever I met Gardy through Palms, I met Nathan the cat because his sister's best friends with Maria Tyrone's Ryan's little brother Zone is Mitchell's cousin Doug through Mitchell King, Mitchell's cousin and Chris, some sort of weird relation to Chris. Tavis is Ryan's cousin. <laughs> it goes round in circles, it's mad. I stopped playing football when I was about 13. I was playing for uh, just your regular youth teams, that like junior football side. I was playing for Long Lane. I had trials with Cholton, uh, a, a development centre. It, it was a good level. And um, even at that young age, when I started playing for Long Lane in the A team, the football just became too serious, the manager was expecting too much, he was training there twice a week and having to rush there after school and I stopped enjoying the game. I sort of started to lose a bit of love for the game and I found love in other things such as music and other directions that I took. Ryan Palmer, my sister's husband, fantastic footballer, really great footballer and he's stuck with his football, he was always playing football. We used to go and play football and he used to fill me with confidence. He's telling me, Andrew, you're a good player. You're actually a really good player. Like you can play football, like come play football. And you know, like he gave me a lot of confidence. And then we sat down and we and we, we built SC Dons. And like for five years now I've been playing football non-stop. I began to love it again. I started playing it, I began looking forward to playing on a Sunday. I couldn't wait. Like the week just went slow. And um so I give a lot of praise to Ryan Palmer. And my dad as well, because my dad has always told me I need to get back to football. But Palms really helped me kind of get this thing going and playing again. So he, I've got to give Palms his juice for that one. On a Monday, we've just, we've just played our game the day before. We've checked out the results from the league. We're looking at where we are. Mitchell will tell me who we're playing next week, where we're playing. Cool. Slap it in the group. We're playing these bunch of wrong ones there at this time. Who's who's up for it? People start putting their hands up throughout the week. We we tend to wait till Wednesday to see how many people are putting their hands up. And then we start discussing what's like, who who we're looking at picking because we can only bring a certain amount of people and there's so many people that, that are in the group now. So we start discussing who we can bring and um, whatever. During the week, me and Chris are editing anyway. But then when it comes to Thursday. Friday, we begin to confirm a selection. Saturday morning, the team gets put in the group. Saturday morning, so by the afternoon, I've got messages from people that are up, that are telling me, ah, oh, why are you dropping, why are you dropping, you know what I mean? It's how it goes, people are just letting, venting. And um, Saturday night, you know, the lead, the, the, there's certain people in the group that throw little things in, boys, let's go for tomorrow, let's get up for this one. Sunday morning, we're there at the game, 9.30 meet, and we kick off at 10.30. The key to winning a title this season is consistency. Consistency and hunger and belief. I think they've all got bright futures, every single one of them. Every single one of them got bright futures. Everyone, all they got to do is work hard and chase their goals. Young, young Malik, King, young, real young boys um, that are coming through, man, and they're talented footballers. 
Malik's just got his um, he's playing first team football for Cray Wanderers, top of the Ryman South. Um, King is is doing his thing at Greenwich Borough. Um, you know, they got a bright future ahead of them. So, but I'd like to think everyone in the in the Dons team have got good bright futures. Depends who's asking. Of course it can. If that's the direction we want to take it, this club can be whatever we want it to be. With the, with the following that we've managed to build up um, and the talent, the talent that we have, I don't see why not. If we had the right, I know it takes a lot of politics and funding to go into something like that. So, you know, if that's if that's what we wanted to do, it, it could. I haven't had a bad moment with Don Shirt. I die for this club. Even when I play bad, I've given my all. So I ain't had a bad moment with Don Shirt. Donny Jones every single day of the week. He'd pull out. He'd see me running at him like a steam train and he'd pull out. Follow your heart. Uh, work hard. Be a man of your word. If, you, if you're going to say you're going to do something, stick to it. Don't give up. Don't quit. It's going to get hard. It's going to get difficult. People are going to tell you yes. People are going to tell you no. People are going to push you away. But you keep going back and you keep working hard. So don't quit. Hmm. Jay-Z. Daddy Yankee, because of obvious reasons, and Cardi B. <laughs> Daddy Yankee, Cardi B, I'm not even, no, let me change Jay-Z. Daddy Yankee, Cardi B, and, um, <laughs> and Pitbull. Daddy Yankee, Cardi B, and Pitbull. <laughs> Mitchell's Trust. It's amazing, it's a fantastic feeling. Get, I get hundreds of messages, man. People that are inspired by our journey and what we're doing here and what we're trying to achieve. And it's not just me either. The players are getting messages. That's why I know that the Dons is huge because I've always had a following. And that's not me being big headed. I've always had a following because I do music. So I've been in the media spotlight since 2008. And so I'm used to people messaging me and coming up to me and saying things to me. But now what I'm seeing is the players are also getting that kind of respect and attention. And I'm so pleased for them because SC Dons is not just Don Strapsy. You know, it's about everyone. It's, you, money can't buy this kind of feeling. Because my dad is from Manchester, and his mum's from Ireland, so the accent's a bit wild. I think that a lot of people have lost um, the engagement with the professional game. They feel as though, you know, a lot of professional footballers are just like superstars and don't really interact with their supporters. YouTube is really giving people the feeling of involvement again. The 90s, early 2000s, we used to see Roy Keane have an argument with Patrick Vieira in the tunnel because it, it meant something to them. And you can see with the YouTube thing, it means something to the, to the players. And at the same time, you catch me, Mitchell and us, man, we, we walk around Lewisham Shopping Centre, you catch us in Greenwich. We're out and about, we, we're, we're not hiding anywhere, so there's a big platform for it. Um, we, we're proof of that, Palmer's a proof of that, and all these other teams that are doing it. So, you know, embrace it pick a team and support them. It's keeping people happy. If I was a manager of a semi-professional football team or a professional football team, I don't have to have any emotions with the players. I can just not pick you, get rid of you if you're causing me any problems, and that's that, because I'm getting paid to do a job. At this level of grassroots football, I can honestly say that everyone that plays with SC Dons is my mate. That we're all friends. And everyone has different characters. It's managing people's attitudes and characters. Some people are different to other other players. Some players are easy going, <laughs> the other players ain't. We have 26 or 27 players and we can only pick 16 players every single week. And even 16 is a stretch because bringing on four or five substitutions is unrealistic. So it's difficult to keep people happy. And people do take things personally, unfortunately. You know, you can you fall out of people along, along the way. You know, no one ever wants that. But it's difficult to keep people happy, man. If I'm dropping someone, they're not going to feel good about it, so it's unfortunate, but someone's got to do it. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for getting behind the Dons. Thank you for getting behind the movement. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for buying your merchandise. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for spreading the word. Keep supporting, keep supporting and keep enjoying what we're doing. You know, we give you our raw, everything is raw, nothing is written down, nothing is scripted. And um, your support is allowing us to dream big and try and take this thing as far as we can. 
and push it out there. So thank you so much for your support. Stick with us. It's love, man. Anything, 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 anything. We do what dons do. Longest name, anything.